So uh, in this video, we're going to cover uh, how to actually add an image and also linking. So those are actually pretty easy to do. So we will get started dragging our boilerplate into brackets. Very basic. All right. So the first thing that we'll do is we will add an image. Now remember, the image, I already have some images in here. So I'm not about to go to uh, Google. I'm trying to keep these videos kind of under five minutes, maybe, give or take few all right so you have to make sure that your information or your image is saved in the folder and you can see I have my boilerplate folder and we can see that I do have some images in here and that's a mugshot image it's not really a mugshot it's a video of somebody all right well a picture of somebody excuse me all right so um, let's drag this in here all right so remember if we want to add an image, we start off with an open caret. And then I'm going to say IMG. All right, that basically stands for image. All right, then I'm going to say SRC. So it's asking for the image source. Where's this image? And I'm going to say equals. And once you hit equals, you'll see that I do have access to the images that are located in my folder. Now, this is all. Um, text specific so spellings have to be correct so you'll see the JPEG some have just JPG all right so you have to watch out for that caps matter everything so let's just say I want uh, this mugshot image and I'll just close this off and if I hit save you can see there is my image right there all right now we do need to add a little bit more uh, about this image all right and that would be a great idea so the first thing that you want to do and I'm gonna bring this over is you want to add an alt tag all right now alt tag stands for ultimate so let's just say I have a hundred images for a website and let's say one of those images does not show up well this alt tag will serve as a description of that image if it doesn't show up now if the image shows up you won't see the actual alt tag so keep that in mind. So I could just say, um, um, nice, um, nice headshot, whatever. It does not matter. Um, just as long as you know what that description is. This is more back-end stuff. So if I hit save, you'll notice that I will not actually see the alt tag. So the way that this works is, I'm going to mess up my directory here on my image. And now you'll see nice headshot actually show up right there. All right. So it's, it serves as a great uh, help if your image does not show up. All right. The last thing that we're going to do to this image tag is add a width parameter. All right. Now, width, um, you want to do your resizing in Photoshop, but uh, this. If you have to do minute changes, this is good. So let's just say I wanted this image to be 500 pixels. You'll see that it will resize to actually 500 pixels. So adding an image is pretty easy. And you can see that it's getting pixelated. So this is what we call upsampling. So in turn, your actual image is getting bigger. Is that a trend? Wow. Okay, anyway. So I'm going to hit save. So we added an image. Now let's say that we're going to use, uh, we're going to create a link here. And what this link is actually going to do, and my train is gone. Sorry about that. But what we're going to do, we're going to actually create a link. So the way that we do that is I'm going to say open care. And I'm going to say ahref. All right, so literally this stands for an anchor tag. If you hear anchor tag, that means a link. All right, and I'm going to say equals. And I'm going to take it to... The site that I want to take it to. So let's just say I want to go to CNN. All right. Now you can't just put www.cnn.com. You have to do HTTP colon backslash backslash first. And then you can say www.cnn.com. All right. Then I need to close this off. All right. And automatically brackets does a wonderful job of automatically generating an anchor tag. Now this is all back end, so the user needs something to click on. So what the user clicks on will be in between here. So let's just say I have CNN here. I'm going to hit save. And it should take me, create a link right here. 
I mean, it looks a little crazy right now, but we haven't done pseudo classes at this point, so uh, no big deal. Now, what is a big deal is that this is actually a little annoying. Yeah, I don't know. So, sorry about that. I'm like reading news here. All right, so what's annoying is that this does not open up in a new tab. So I do want to actually change this and make sure that it opens up in a new tab. So the way that we can do that is by coming in here and I can say target and then give it blank. I should remember this for the class anyway. So now when I do target blank, we can now see that it opens it up in a new tab here, which is great. Now, we can also link images. So let's just take the CNN out. I can just pretty much add my ing src equals. Let's just say I want the logo to link. Let me close. And there it is. It's a link back. So that's a quick way to actually uh, create you a uh, link and 